we have not talked at all about Fury and Wilder 3. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Odds are brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fighting this weekend, uh, I believe late, late Saturday night. This is the third uh, edition of the of this fight. It's been called off. It's been put back on. Who knows what's... I didn't even realize it was actually going on until I clicked on BetUS and realized that it's actually happening. I saw a bunch of stuff about the press conference just a little while ago, and apparently it's gotten crazy. The odds right now, Chris, are Tyson Fury... As a minus 300 favorite, the total rounds on this, it can, the total is seven and a half rounds. Uh, so to go over is minus 135. To go under is plus 105. You, do you have any interest in this fight at all? And and if so, like who, who are you taking here? Yeah, I, I like Tyson Fury. I think he's he's fun to watch. I think he's really entertaining, and, and I'll be betting on him. I know he's a big favorite. I, I bet on him last time and, and made a lot of money because he was a big dog. But uh, but no, I, I listen. We've seen Wilder hit him with his best shot. We've seen it, and it dropped him, and he got his ass back up. Okay. Yeah, at that point, that's it. yeah, I don't know that's what it. else you can do beyond that. I don't when when you Wilder is is older every day that goes on, and and I, a guy who can take a punch like that he never change. You're just not knocking him out. You're just not. And that's that's about the only thing that Wilder's got. So as as much as I yeah, would like, which 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 it knocks out everybody else on the planet, it yeah. just doesn't knock this one guy out. Hey, except for this six foot seven, two hundred eighty pound behemoth. Yeah, I'd, I'm going to roll with you on Tyson Fury. I I just I don't. I've seen this I, fight three times. I think Fury won the first one, also, which didn't go that way. They called it a draw. That's fine. I, I think Fury won that fight pretty. He, he he got knocked down. He's the only one that got knocked down, but. He, he won far more rounds. In the second fight, it went in close. He dominated him, went in close. Do you think uh, Do you think they expect to make a ton of money off this fight? Like, uh, I do think they'll make a lot of money off of it. Well, I mean, it's, it's on a Saturday night in the middle of October, and, I mean, it's going to be late, but there has just not been a ton of hype about this thing, and... I just, no, not around here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet, I'm going to bet European dollars are going to be ridiculous. Uh, you're probably right on, on and I'm gonna, and I'm also going to bet the Asian markets are probably pretty ridiculous as well. Yeah, likely so. Likely that that does make sense. I mean, it's it's going well, you down can't in just Vegas. look at the American window when you're talking about that. You you got to look at the whole country, the whole world. I mean, yeah, that's I do have an issue with that, especially during football season. You know how you know how me and you get. That's the that's the way we go. We both cover college football, so our Saturdays are fairly full. But yeah, it does make sense to me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.